Hi guys, this is Brianna again from The Seven Darks. How are you guys doing? All right, I'm back again talking about the good and the beautiful. Again, we love it. Um, we have actually gotten the science units for this year, and that's what I'm going to be talking about, science and history. Uh, I want to show you how, again, how I printed and how I binded them. Um, some of it's easy, some of it's a little complicated, so bear with me. Hopefully, I can get it all in here. So, this is my science. I have yet to put a page on here. Again, it's in a three ring binder like in my other videos. Um, I printed out the front page. No, I mean, I don't feel a need in printing out the cover pages. It does make it look better and you can do that, but I choose not to. Um, like I did with the uh, high school one unit, I separated um, some of the book. Um, for the history, the whole course book, this is just the course book and you just read through that, do whatever you do. I printed it all front and back, very simple, very similar to everything else. For the, what do they call it, Stu students, uh, explorers, um, what I actually did here, because I have a few kids in each level. Um, for the younger levels, I needed to print off, like for this one, grades one through three, I have uh, two actually that could use this one. So what I did is, I printed off two copies of everything that was going to be consumed. Um, we actually did one lesson today, but most of the younger level ones, they will have coloring and writing and other things of that sort. So you would need to print off two if you have kids within the eight or grade level or age level, that would be for this. Um, the same thing for grades six through four, I noticed there was a good bit of writing so um a lot of reading also some of the pages like the pages where they read i did not print off double just on the pages where they had activities i printed double and i added those in here so both kids could be able to do whatever they needed to do now i have one kid in eighth grade and one kid in tenth grade so i just printed off very simple I don't think they really need to color anything or do anything like that. Um, I think there is a couple of coloring pages um, for like, I think maps and stuff like that. I can't remember um, because I this is my first year using them again and I just briefly looked through it. That's all I did. Um, but I did separate it that way. And then in the back is our big storybook of history. And this is actually a two inch binder because there was a lot of information that needed to go in there. So that's how I set up history. Very simple. Like I said, everything I printed double sided except for the pages that were going to be consumed. I printed off single sided. So when you go to the student explorers, you will have to um, go like the younger ones. You can just print two copies. Um, and for the older one, I actually went through it and just selected those pages that were going to need to be written on or colored on or whatever. And I just printed another copy. It does take a little bit of work, but not too much. Um, and it makes it easier just to have everything already here, already ready to go. Um, some people like to wait to the day of to print these extra pages. You can do that. I mean, I'm all for it. Um, I'm a grab and go type of, type of person, so I like to have everything already ready for me so I can just set, tell one of my kids, grab the history book. I will put a label on it and maybe later today. Um, so I can tell my kids, grab, my, grab the history book and everything's right there. All I have to do is grab pencils or colored pencils or crowns or however, and it'll be ready. But that is history for us. Very simple. Everything all together. Now, we purchased five sciences this year. Um, this is mammals. Um, we're going to do them in a different variety. Um, I went ahead and for science, you are going to have to go through it. The only thing I did not like about the good and the beautiful, the way they set up the science, you cannot just click print double-sided and go with it. I really wish it was set up like the course books because the course books is so easy. 
When you have a page that you need to cut out, the next page is blank. So you don't cut out any of the information from the next page. With the sciences that I've purchased now, I don't know if all of them like that, but the sciences I have purchased, I'll show you them, none of them are set up like that. So the pages that um, will need to be cut out, you have to print out single-sidedly. So you have to literally go through the, the PDF and select whatever. Like you have to look through it and basically do your research on what pages need to be cut out and what pages don't need to be cut out and what pages can be printed double-sided and what pages cannot. So I'll give you a brief run through of a few things that I do know that um, need to be printed out. Again, this is mammals. Um, all your vocabulary words are going to need to be printed out. Um, the way we do vocabulary words um, for the word wall, we get a poster board, glue stick, smack them on there, they're ready to go. Um, and we put the board on the wall and every time we need to add more, we just take the glue stick up there and stick, cut it out and stick it up there. Very simple. Um, but you will need to go through them and this is just quick. Uh, uh, Mammals has less than extensions, so you might need to look and see if you need to get the extra extensions. For the lessons, I printed off black and white. Um, and like I said, I had to go through it and I had to look and see what needed to be printed out and what didn't need to be printed out. Um, the way I did that was I looked through each chapter, each lesson, and I put everything together that needed to be like the teaching part of the lesson. All that is at the beginning. And the pieces that need to be cut out are in the back, behind the lesson. It makes it easier. That way you can read through the lesson and you know that all the activity stuff will be behind it. I know you'll have to flip a little bit because they have you do some experiments and stuff like that through the lesson, but that's how I did it. Um, there are a couple of coloring pages for the little ones that I also printed single-sidedly so I could just take it out and give to the kids and let them color it. But like this page, I had to go through and select this page just to print single-sidedly. It is a little bit aggravating. Um, I really wish they would change that setup um, and make it more like the language arts and the history and everything else that's... Um, so I guess you could accept the right way. I can't say it the right way because that's the way they chose to do it. But a better way for printing. I would suggest that. Um, like this page, you're going to need to cut out this. But if I would have selected print all the pages double-sided like I did with the course books, I wouldn't have been able, I think, to print out. Um, I'd, I'd have to cut the information on the next page, and I didn't want to have to do that. So you will have to go through the mammals that way, um, the mammals unit, the energy unit is the same way. Um, I didn't have a pocket in this folder, so I just um, hole punched the vocabulary words and threw them in here because we're gonna be cutting them out and stick them on the wall. Um, these all needed to be printed single-sidedly. And again, the lesson, I just compiled all the information for each lesson. So for this lesson one, all the information is here at the beginning and all the activities and stuff you need to cut out are in the back. Um, it does take some time. I had five units to do this year, so it took me a lot of time. Um, I saved it for last because I really didn't want to do it. Um, so hopefully they'll change that in the future where when they have pages like this that need to be cut out, it'll already have that blank page like the, um, the math uh, units do, the LA units and everything. They all have it set up that way where the pages are set up for printing. Um, the human body unit is also the same way. Vocabulary words. And whenever you like this, I printed off one of these for each of the kid kids. But they, um, if I would have printed double-sided, I would have to cut whatever's on the next page. So you basically cut out part of your lesson. And again, it's all at the back of the lesson. The front of the lesson is over here. Basically, the reading part, all the information that you, you read to the kids and everything. Um, 
the mini books. I did not print out the mini books separately. I just went ahead and printed those um, along with the lesson and I just hole punched them. I didn't cut them out or anything. I just hole punched them and put them in there right with the lesson, right before all the activities. So you got your lesson, your little mini books, if the unit has mini books, and then all your activity information where you cut out and everything is at the end. Um, some pages are black and white, some pages are color. But all my science units are the same. This is water, water and our world. I just, in my planner, I just put water unit because um, that's a big title for everyone. Um, again, this page, I had to make it where I only printed one sided, but the lesson page, see how I printed both sides, is there. Also, I'll show you the, this is the little reader, the little mini book that it has with it. Um, I just printed it both sides and I left it in the lesson there. I didn't feel the need to take it out and have a separate book laying somewhere for me to forget or to lose later. It's all in here and if we ever decide, well, we will have to go through this unit again eventually with some of the younger kids that didn't do um, school this year. So, and space, we, did this, we got the space unit. Vocabulary words, single-sided. I did those color because it's always nice to have some color on the wall. Um, and again, my first lesson, I, well, all my lessons. It's got your lesson information up front, front and back. And then these I will cut out. I had to print it single-sidedly. All this is printed single-sidedly. You, I mean, it's a lot of work to have to do it. I really do wish they would change it and make it a lot easier for printing. But that is the science, um, the way the science is set up. It does take a little bit more time with the science to do it this way. Um, some people would say, well, I'd rather just buy the book already made up. That is completely up to you. If that's what you want to do, go for it. Um, I did it like this because for like... The little activity pages, like a bunch of my kids are within the grade levels to do them. So I had the option to print it off and have those extra pages and not have to worry about it. Um, so it's all there. It's very simple. Um, it just, it does take a little bit of work. It's not as simple as um, the language arts or even the writing books. Um, my next video will be about the writing books and my answer book. My answer book's nifty. I think you might like that but there it is um like and subscribe if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them down below or on facebook page thank you have a great day